here's the thing, right? Progress has been really slow on the farm. And we need to speed things up a bit because we're not really getting anywhere fast. We want to be getting some good money in. So this is us. These are our two new fields. And as you can see, I've cleared the riverbed a little bit. All fields are currently planted as well. But in terms of production, we want to try and be kind of self-sustainable inside the farm. So because we've got wool going, we're going to be looking at getting a spinnery and a tailor's and all that funky stuff. Luckily for us at the bank, we have a huge amount of money that we can borrow. So here's the plan. We're going to sell the greenhouse. We're going to sell the water tub. And we're going to get in here a new sheep shed. That's our sheep shed. So wool is going to come out here. So hopefully we can move all of the grass over to the new shed prepare ourselves for our next visitors next we need to rent an animal trailer so we can move the animals so awesomely we got some old cheeps in some new housing and we've got plenty of room left for some more as well so we'll just top everybody up get them all moved across so we can now sell this get a little bit of money back for it we've got enough room for a few more sheep so i'm gonna get another trailer's worth of sheep that should put us up to 38 in total having said that i know the spinnery is like 65 Ooh, it's 60 it's quite a chunk as well but we'll get that and we don't really have an awful lot of money the idea is that we are building towards production so that we can just keep on pumping out and pumping out and pumping out stuff so if we go for a full load, we need 6k. We don't have 6k, but we can borrow a little bit more. Beautiful. I think if I get another trailer's worth, so we buy a total of 26, plus the 25 that we've already got there, giving us a nice 51. I guess the best thing about sheep as well is, realistically, they're a bit of a cheat because you only need to give them food. You don't need to give them water or anything like that. So that is always handy for us. get this wool in the spinnery we'll get this trailer in the spinnery as well and that will get things moving which will be really good for us one more trailer full and that is going to leave us about one short i think it is of a full capacity but i'm pretty sure they'll breed anyway won't they so let's do that then actually i'm going to leave it there and let them reproduce but we're on the right track for what we need I also, actually, I need to turn production on, don't I? No good loading it up if it's not turned on. Oh, there's a lot of property maintenance coming off. So after a day, they're doing okay on food. They haven't demolished too much. Not an awful lot of wool overnight, but I guess we did move them middle of the day. So one pallet of fabric ready to go. Our first sale. So it's currently 8,000. Uh, we could hold on for it for a little bit longer. We're in October. With it being 8,000, that is literally going to pay for a set of the sheep. In a weird way, I'll feel better to say that we got some sheep, basically, for free. Bada bing, bada boom. Thank you very much. Oh, nice. Now we just got to do that, but increase it. <laughs> Sheep's been working really well throughout the night, bringing us some good wool. Basically producing 1,000 litres of fabric a day. Another 8,300. But I think I'm going to go continue to fell the trees around the land that we bought. But they haven't been making an awful lot of money. You know, chopping down hundreds of trees and making a dollar or a pound. Whichever way you want to look at it, really. And it feels like it's a bit off. Try and keep them as, you know, as whole as we can, really. I know that we've got to take the branches and stuff off so neaten those up and these are handy enough to be moved by hand if i remember so we should be able to pick and place and we can now i know what you're thinking when you're looking at that yes i did play a lot of tetris that's why the stacking skills are so good but uh, let's get this to a carpenter anyway and see what he can make use out of it. So it's actually the biomass plant that's given us the better money. So that is all the way over there. We look for the green alien light in the sky. So apparently these will accept any old stuff. There we go. So all of that for just over a thousand. Looks like we've been robbed. That's better, isn't it? Look, it's a little bit clearer around here now so we can actually see what's happening. We gotta make sure we get the stumps as well. So we'll run this down. 
get rid of all the bushes, hopefully. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. There we go, we got it. Cool. And then hopefully with what remaining cash we have, we can go and level the land a little bit more. A few humps and hollers here and there, but for the most part, we are good. Right, I think maybe we can get rid of this tool now we're just literally waiting for crops to grow that's that's the only problem it's a very long and tedious job the earliest we can plant is february for cotton i don't really want to do that i am questioning sugarcane because hear me out on this sugarcane doesn't need an awful lot yes the machinery is expensive but once you plant it it grows plant it you harvest it you don't need to plant it again now we could get a cheap forge wagon for 12 grand i think we will i know we use the baler quite a bit but this is decent and at least this way as well i don't have bales lying around everywhere and i can also bail out the wagon anyway i just have to dump it on the ground somewhere and then just grab the baler and run over it but that's a little bit full anyway not a lot but we've done a little bit so we slept for a couple of months so that is why we've got a bit of wool that's good because it means that we got some more that we can stuff into production interestingly enough it still doesn't look like their feed has gone down an awful lot so here's the thing canola oil is between four thousand and five and a bit thousand i have a couple of fills of canola Canola oil. Field 47 would be a benefit to get hold of so that I can pump some canola oil in there. That means that we can maybe get rid of field 44 and that could be where we put our factory. I'm going to grab it. We've took out a little bit more of the loan. I'm going to grab it. So then we own all of this area. Now we can do pretty much what we like with it. I think we're going to lease this. It just makes things quicker and I think that's where we'll be at with the trees. I'll blitz through the trees and get it done. I was hoping that I could feed into it by hand like this stuff i can pick this stuff up and then if we get in the tractor it will okay i guess maybe it's still the same principle probably although it does look like it deals with the, the branches a lot better no 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 no. so close so very close so this is going to be something that's going to be difficult there we go. It's time to feed. Maybe. There we go. Change some options. The unconventional but easier way to use these things. That's better. <gasps> we got it. <gasps> I did a thing. I did a thing that was harder than I expected, but I did a thing. I still prefer doing it this way. I'm not gonna lie. Health and safety at its finest. Using a chainsaw right into a one of these things. What could possibly go wrong? E, there we go. I can honestly say, when it comes to controlling those cranes or the wood, I have no idea what I'm doing. My brain doesn't work in 19 different axes. I mean, it missed, but it is still somehow working. Kind of. Hey, there we go. Hopefully we can empty this into here. Yes, we can. Oh, wow, it fills it. Not bad. Nearly 11,000 for 8,000 litres of wood chips. I'm quite happy with that, to be fair. I expect it to be a little bit less. We've got a few more trees to go. And we've got another full wagon, so... It's looking good, really. 
Just two more trees left. Ah, one behind us. I thought we were just two more trees left. Which would have been nice, but there seems to be one down here, unless it's just a big bush. And now it is indeed some of a tree. And then just this thing. Big old chunk. There we go. So, we should be able to move these. Mostly by hand. Hey. Okay, so there's a lot of wood chips there that have gone to waste. But, that's all the tree's done. That is everything all done down this bit anyway i'm not that bothered about that bit just yet that might change a little bit later on well all i can hope is that i've got the stumps because i don't seem to be able to munch anything else up so hopefully there's no stumps hidden in those bits because if there's any hidden stumps when we go to like raise and lower the ground it's going to cause us some problems so we'll drop this and the other wood chips off again. Hopefully get some money back anyway. And that is setting ourselves up for the canola. So we want to be doing the canola plantation, which is 80,000. Just thinking about things, right? I've already made about 20-something thousand from wood chips. And I've got a trailer here that's got 16,000 litres of wood chips in. So that should be another 20,000. Wood chips are way better value for money than selling the trees just as wood. Because I have sold a lot of trees as wood. And I have probably made 3,000, 4,000. But that tiny little section being sold as wood chips. But you're looking at 40,000 pounds. And it feels like I took less trees. So if I remember, wood chips are definitely the way to go. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Another 20 grand. Please. Okay. And now we just have to wait for the fields to grow so I can harvest them. So I can store all the goodies. Why is this tree all the way over here? Anyway, yeah, we seem to be going in a direction. I don't know if this is a good one or a bad one. But things are happening. The land looks a lot clearer. I get like a almost a flat plate that I can deal with and go from. And yes, we are happy. Right. I hope to see you again next time. You take it easy for now, and I will catch you in a bit. Bye!